Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is Grounded. If you are unfamiliar, it is essentially Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the video game. Uh, <laughs> and it's pretty fun. It, it It's a fun game. I've been playing a little bit over the last couple days, and I'm like, you know what? This would actually make a pretty good series. Uh, so here we are. We start out in this case. We have been shrunk. We are a child. I'm playing as Pete, the uh, the sort of nerdy kid, uh, <laughs> I guess you would say. Um, but we have a lot of things we need to do. As with any survival game, we got to gather resources and all that kind of stuff. I would actually really like to... Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. Come back, you. I, I need to kill said bug. Um... There we go. Got him. Uh, we'll also grab some rocks and things along those lines. Okay. So now we want to make our way over here to this research station. And this is where we're going to learn. Let's also grab these mushrooms. We're going to need food. Uh, this is where we're going to unlock recipes, uh, get science, which we use to level up, and all sorts of things like that. So uh, this is the resource analyzer. If we put stuff in here, such as this uh, plant fiber, it'll spit out a list of different resources and things like that that we can use it for. Uh, we also want to analyze the pebble. There we go. And then I think we probably want to analyze this raw weevil meat, since that actually does have an expiration date on it. It will eventually uh, rot and go bad, but that'll get us a shield that we can craft. So there we go. And now it takes a little while for this to recharge. It's not super, super long, uh, but it's long enough that you probably don't just want to sit here waiting for it to finish. Also grab these snacks. You get some uh, documents and lore and stuff. I'm not going to like read through all that, but if you're interested, you're more than welcome to pause the video when those documents and things come up so you can read them for yourself. Uh, so now we need to do some crafting. Let's just grab a couple things. I need sprigs. Also, I need water. That's the other thing. Uh, and the way that you get water, at least in the early game, is you look for water droplets that are up on these things, and then they fall down, and you can slurp them up and get a little bit of water that way. Uh, you can also eat these mushrooms raw. They're not a great source of food, but they will, you know, keep you from starving to death. So it's something. Uh, but let's go to crafting here. First thing I need to make is this rope. Uh, and that is going to be used to make all of the other stuff. So let's make a spear. And then I need more sprigs, which are these guys right here. These sort of partly grown uh, plants and things. Let's grab some pebbles because we also want to go ahead and make ourselves the axe pretty quickly as well, which would be this guy. And then this... Uh, weevil shield. I need grub hides and weevil meat, neither of which I can craft at the moment. So, let's, that's an ant. Okay, ants uh, won't, uh, well, ant hills. If you find an ant hill and you get too close to it, they'll attack you. But for the most part, if you leave the ants alone, they will leave you alone, which is good. Let's just kind of throw this in here as well. There we go. Now we have unlocked how to make the hammer and the torch, both of which are pretty important. Uh, first things first, we're going to need to get a little bit of dry grass, which you get from these sort of brown ones. There we go. And when this collapses, it will spit out a whole bunch of these, gra these dry grass chunks. Uh, and then, let's see, I still need to make this, we're gonna need more pebbles, we're gonna need more sprigs, and we're gonna need more rope. So let's do the rope here. There we go. Get that going, we'll grab more of this stuff as we go, because we want to make all of the things. And then once we have our basic tools made, 
then we can start worrying about uh, getting our hotbar organized and moving on and progressing a bit, which will be good. So let's just get all the stuff that we can. Uh, okay. How are we doing on pebbles? I think I need like one more for the hammer, right? Nope, we actually do have enough. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and craft this. And then we also need to make one more rope so I can make the torch. Okay, now let's just unassign everything from our hotbar so I can get this organized the way that I want. Which is... where's my torch? There we go. Just like so. Sort our inventory. Okay, now we're good. Now we can actually do some things. So, if we head down this path a little ways... You'll see here there is like a little, uh, I don't know if it's like a, oh, that's a gnat. I need you. Come back. Did I get it? I got it. I actually need that. <laughs> that's, that's what we use to make a bow, uh, or at least eventually it is. Uh, so this thing, it's like some sort of, I don't know if it's like a game console or, uh, it says, uh, it's a spacer thing. But either way, we got to press the button and then you'll see there are these, uh, like machines that are trying to light this up, but it's not working because they're being blocked. So you can see that this laser is being blocked by this thing. If we chop this down. Now that one's hitting. And then this one is being blocked over there by flickering stuff. So if we head over there, we can figure out what the problem is and get that fixed, and then we will sort of unlock the next uh, area of the game, so to speak. We're gonna run into some, uh, some, I wouldn't call them friends, but we're gonna run into some nasty things that wanna kill us, uh, which are these guys, these red gnats or fleas or whatever they're called. Mites? Lawn mites. They're called lawn mites. You can see that they are kind of gnawing on the power cord, and that is what's causing all of these problems. So, if we equip our torch, we can head into the cave and start clearing these things out. There we go. And there should only be... Oh, hi. Hi. There should only be, like, maybe one or two more at this point. Yeah, here we go. There's one. And there we go. And we can also gather some of these cave resources as well while we're at it. Uh, we could actually use our hammer to bust through here. Uh, let's break this one up here, I think. There we go. And obviously, breaking all those rocks will make pebbles, but, like, how many pebbles do I really need? Not that many. Uh, we can put this away for a moment. But, there are some things here. You'll see there is a marble chunk here, but we don't have a strong enough hammer to break it. Uh, we're only rocking a tier 1 hammer at the moment. We need a tier 2 hammer to get uh, to actually do anything with that. So we'll come back for that later. But for now, let's get out of this cave and we'll head back to that machine thing to see if the problem is all fixed now, which it should be. Oh, wrong button. There we go. So if we make our way back over here, these lawn mites are going to keep coming after me, aren't they? It's fine. You know what? Let them come. It's fine. Rude. Okay, well, we got hurt, so it wants us to make a bandage, and the way we can do that is right here. It's just some plant fiber and some sap. The thing is, I don't think I actually have any sap, although there is a little bit right here. Uh, I want to get enough that I can analyze it, too. Good, good, good. So we can make one of those. And then we can heal ourselves with it, but at the moment, I'm not going to. Uh, I think I'm fine, at least 
temporarily. Grab some more of this stuff. Oh, that's a weevil. I'm going to need uh, quite a few of those, actually, because we want to make that shield if I can. And that will be coming up soon. Also, these uh, clover leaves. I'm going to need some of those, too, for various crafting things. There we go. Okay. So, we should now be able to activate this uh, with this button right here. Now that we have fixed the technical problems. And we can see that over by the tree, a new area opens up as a result. And that's where we need to go next. This is all the early game stuff. This is the easy part. But we're going to have to head over there. And I think, honestly, I kind of want to just head over there before uh, Joke it down, Pete. we get to, like, it would be great if we could get all this done before it becomes night. That would be amazing. Uh, let's see. Where is... Should be over here. I'm looking for the... Uh... Uh, is that right? No, it's not. Well, you know what? Let's let's pop over here. Ooh, Weevil, come back, you. Where'd it go? Right here. Uh, there's a mint tin. We'll just come over here to get it on our map. But what I'm actually looking for is the research station. Because by now we should be able to research a few more things. And that will be really important. So, here we go. Let's research, um... I guess... Nat Fuzz... Let's research uh, clover leaves. Just trying to do the stuff that will give us the largest amount of uh, stuff at the moment. And sprigs, I guess. Just get a few things going. Okay, good. So there we go. Uh, that should be good for now. The rest, let's see, there's the oak tree. You can see it kind of in the distance there, hiding behind everything. Uh, we should also keep an eye out for water as we're moving along. Look for a dewdrop or two. Oh, aphid? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep killing weevils. As I said, we actually need quite a few of these. Water droplets? Anywhere? Not seeing any. Oh, we did find a juice box, though. That's almost as good. The juice box will spit out juice drops. And as you can see, they will also refill your water or hydration level. Uh, that's a ladybug. We're going to need to kill one of those at some point. But right now, it would destroy us. We need to get the shield first. So the next step is to get into the oak tree, which is going to be this way, and there are all sorts of nasty things around here. We've got uh, spiders and... Oh, by the way, if uh, you have... A, if you're arachnophobic, this might not be the game for you. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, <laughs> there, there are most definitely spiders in this game. Um, and I am not bothered by them, so, like, I'm gonna play it anyway, but if you have a fear of spiders, maybe not this... maybe not this series. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, but let's get some of these acorn bits. We're going to use those for a variety of different things. Armor and all sorts of goodies. We'll get this sap as well. One thing we're going to need this for is to make a shovel that we can use to dig up grubs. And that's how we're going to get the necessary materials to make our, um, our shield, which will make combat significantly easier uh, than it would be without. Like, you can actually, without a shield, uh, it can be very difficult to blo uh, to fight uh, a lot of different creatures because you will still take damage. Uh, when you block, you just won't take a lot. And these are grubs right here, but I can't make one yet. Ah! 
I can't dig it up because I don't have the shield. That's fine. Let's just get this stuff here. Okay, um, how we doing on inventory space? That's probably good for now. Let's go meet Burgle. Who is Burgle, you might ask? Well, he's a little robot guy. And he's going to be our friend. He is located right over... Oop, yep, there's the spiders. Thankfully, the spiders are not uh, particularly active during the day. It's mostly at night that you need to be worried. But over here is the lab that blew up. And we can pop in here, look at the destruction that was caused, and also meet Burgle, who is going to be sort of our guide to progression for everything else. There is also another one of these research stations, so we can research some stuff. Let's research the acorn chunk. That'll allow us to craft the acorn shovel. Let's do the acorn top. And then let's do... I don't know, um, I guess the red gnat fuzz. I don't know that it really matters. That way we can make arrows and stuff. Okay, good to go. So, let's go find Burgle. Um, I believe he is going to be this way if I press this button. Also, there is a water cooler in here which just has infinite water, which is nice. Uh, we need to go this way. There's Burgle. Hello, Burgle. Come on, come on. We can revive him and then have a conversation with him. Hello, Burgle. I am Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. That would be good. Uh, I suspect you were miniaturized what by Dr. do you have to tell me, Burgle? Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Indeed it is. And what's worse... The explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Okay, it would be great if you could tell me where I am. We are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. Burgle the cook. You gotta love it. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for it's several getting weeks. Quite late. And now I, I cannot recall some where he and get went. Some sleep. It must be my corrupted memory banks. How come I can't it remember anything? You and I are both a little discombobulated. Yes, that's accurate. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, I've been shrunk. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's Spacer platform. Patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. How do I get out of here? To your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's Spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Well, that's no good. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix it? <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. Processing. Memory fault. Code for And now we find out that we have to go help Burgle recover his memory. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory. 
memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Okay. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. And another Files problem. Cheese and fries. The lab location Thankfully, I know where the first one is. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. No problem. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those chips. And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! Okay, so there's Wendell. Um... Or uh, Bur Burgle, I should say. Wendell's the doctor. Uh, so long story short, basically what he told us is we need to head over to a ASL station, uh, which looks like this. Uh, before we can use it, we need to register ourselves to the biometric scanner, which is easy enough. And now... We have the ASL terminals, and these are also going to be in all of those like little dome-like research stations that we found. And you can do this in a few different ways. You can get uh, quests here, like kill a weevil, kill a gnat, kill an er a worker ant. Uh, we're just going to take all of these. And then also, you can unlock new re uh, recipes and things here, like new technology stuff. So we're going to get the smithing station. Uh, and eventually we'll get cooking as well, but not just yet. Let's get some of these things. Since there are some supplies here, we'll take the bandages. Nothing up there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff kind of spread throughout this lab. But uh, let's press that. That'll allow us to get back out here. Uh, since it is night, though, I don't think we actually want to leave just yet. Uh, we need a key card to get through there. Okay, I think that's about... Oh, no, no, we can press this button as well. Oh, I guess we need to hold the button. There we go. And this is like a little power room where there's a couple of things that we can't really do a whole lot with. Uh, there is a tooth over there that we'll get to later, but the big thing is it gets us raw science, and that's what we really care about. Uh, also, there's a new uh, test here, or another file on making people large, I guess. We've got all of this sap here that I'm not going to worry about. And then there's also these resource surveyors. We'll get to those later. Uh, but we can do a few more recipe things. So let's go ahead and research this nap meat. We will research uh, the mushrooms.
and then we will research, uh, I guess, the grass chunk. That's fine. The dry grass chunk. Okay. So that's all good. We also will get uh, new charges here very soon, which will allow us to research more stuff and gain uh, another level. You'll notice that as we kind of go through that stuff, uh, I don't know if it actually shows anywhere. But basically, whenever you research something, it fills up this brain power. And as this gets higher and higher, you'll unlock more recipes and things like that. So it is quite useful. Uh, so I guess it's time for us not this way. How do we get out of here? Um, I'm going in the wrong direction. I guess it's over here. Yeah, this way is the way out. Now, I think it might actually be night, which would be a little unfortunate. Yeah, it's definitely night, which means it is dangerous because uh, the spiders and stuff come out at night. So let's just see if we pop over here. There's all these recipes and stuff that were unlocked. I'm not going to go through every single one. I am going to just quickly scroll through them to clear out the stuff, though, because you get so many recipes early on in the game as you grab all these, like, basic resources. What I'm really looking for here, though, is this lean-to, and this will allow us to sleep. And I think I'm just going to put it right here so that we can sleep until the morning. And that will keep us from being attacked by spiders or anything like that uh, as we wait. And then what we can actually do is just recycle it, and we actually get all of our resources back, which is really nice. Uh, however, we are not doing super great. Ooh, there's a weevil. We need to kill a weevil for a quest. Come here, you. Okay, there we go. So, let's just make, like, a little temporary base over here. Where'd that aphid go? We're gonna grab you, too. Because you could come in handy. But we got juice. This will help us with our hydration. There we go. And then, as for food, what we can actually do is make a roasting spit, although I need some dry grass chunks, and I don't actually see any around here, which is less than ideal. Uh, there's a bunch on the other side over there, but you can also see there's a whole bunch of spiders and stuff, and at the moment, we are not equipped to deal with with spiders. Uh, I will grab... Where'd that thistle go? I do want to grab some thistle bits, if I can. And it is possible to collect, like, just an insane amount of these thorns, um, but we don't need to do that. We can, we can get by with just a couple at the moment. Um, but you can see it kind of gives you, like, a little stairway. So, uh, dry grass chunks. Where am I going to get those to make the roasting spit so we can have food? Um, that is a good question. We'll probably have to... S hmm. Oh, I'm gonna, I got any, any grass planks as well. Uh, well, ultimately, we're going to have to go back this way anyway. Uh, can I make the shovel? The acorn shovel? I totally can. Okay. So, let's do that. Uh, make the acorn shovel. And then let's just drop... Um, what do we not need? Here, we can drop those. That way we can pick up the shovel. We'll put the shovel... Uh, put the shovel here. And then if we come across any grubs, we can dig them up, like right here. Easy enough. And now we can harvest it. That gives us grub hide, which is important. It will also give us uh, grub meat 
and slime. And you know what? I think I can probably afford to drop, like, one of those. There we go. Because the this was weevil meat, right? Yeah. So if we can get another grub, we can make our shield, which is super, super important. And they do spawn around here, so we'll kind of keep an eye out for it. Um, but... I do think that I'm going to leave it off there for today, guys. Hopefully I can find a grub between episodes or maybe shortly into the next episode. And we can keep moving on here. We need to get some food and stuff going. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.